Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be continuing on with this lip sync. Now this is part 4 of this series, if you missed the other videos please go back and watch them first. If you watched the last one you'll see that we took this part up to first pass up to about frame 60 and in this video we're going to continue on and get this up to the same level. It's all very rough at the moment so it's going to give this a playthrough so you can see where we're at. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself and this happened. I had someone message me last week about this rig saying it's it's very heavy and it's it's not getting good frames per second. If it is running slow for you, a quick tip is to just open up your outliner and find the ray geometry and then if you select everything apart from uh, the eyes and the main geo and then create a new display layer, add that to the layer, then you can switch off all of the uh, sort of hair and the eyebrows and stuff and this does seem to improve frame rate quite a bit. So next I want to take a look at this part here where he comes down, up, down. So the idea here was it's meant to sort of match the beats of little something so comes up little something. Now it feels a bit weird at the moment because of the way the hips are working. You want to always want to make sure that your translates and your rotates of your hips are doing something different, um, especially with like an up and down motion like this because it's, it's looking a bit sort of robotic at the moment. That's a um, really good way of fixing this. It's going to look really good once it's done. So um, what we want to do is start rotating these in a certain way. So when he's up, he's going to be rotated back. Now you see here he hits the down and he's rotated forward. Instead of that, I'm just going to bring him back for this. Okay, and then at this point, we're going to rotate forward instead. Okay, and the same here. So he's on the up position here, he's going to be rotated down. And as he comes, starts to come down, still rotated back. Okay, he hits the down position and he's still going to be back. As he recovers, he's going to come forward. Okay, let's just smooth that out by sending that to spline. And hopefully this is going to look a lot better. Start to get a little something. I start to get a little something. I start to get a little something. Okay, so I would like to just take a quick look at this arm during this section here. So I want it to be kind of a bit floppier. Although it's kind of, you know, he is, he's got a fist, it should be kind of under tension. Um, but it's kind of following exactly what the body's doing, so I'm going to try and build a bit more of a an overlap into this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just grab all the controls and just move them along a little bit. Okay, and at this point, as he's coming down, I want to sort of leave it behind a bit. Okay, and then it comes through and just give it a bit of overshoot okay and then at this point it's back under tension he's, he's raising it up okay, that might be a bit too much i'm also going to set this to spline to make sure that the curves are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing okay so let's let's start breaking this up a little bit so here it's going to be down at this point it's still going to be slightly over this way. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to exaggerate that a bit. And at this point, come through. Okay, I'm just going to give a little bit of overlap to the wrist as well. So at this point it's going to be back here. Okay, at this point it's back. I'm just going to delay this by a couple of frames. And bring it across like this, just delay it ever so slightly. Okay so here's where we're at with this now. Now I start to get a little ahead, I start to get a little something for myself and this happened. Okay so it's starting to come together, we only really have to work on this end section here, so I'm just going to mask this off and we'll have to take a look at that bit. Right so let's break this bit down. So 
goes from this pose and then he's got quite a big gesture here. Um, what I think this is missing maybe is a bit of an anticipation downwards before. He just kind of, he goes from here and starts to just go straight up. So that's not really working for me. So I'm going to find something a bit nicer for that. Okay, so this is it with the anticipation put in. Self, and this so it's not as abrupt now that the the, uh, the viewer can actually see that he's tucked down a bit. Um, it's still not great, it's still not quite following the line of action, so I'm just going to do a bit more work on it. Okay, so this is how it's looking now. Self. And this happens itself, and this happens. So a bit better. I still like to um, just delay this arm again. Uh, so as it comes through, <laughs> you see the way it hits exactly at the same time. So I kind of want this to be a bit floppier. So I'm going to do a similar thing as I did before. Just shift it all along so it arrives a bit later. So guys, here is the final first pass for this section. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Cool. So had a bit of trouble with this bit. Um, I think the problem was trying to get back to this pose because it, it's kind of quite different to the, to this pose. So from here to here. Um, so I had to just keep working away at this part just to try and get that looking any good. I'm still not totally happy with it. I might repose this a bit to finish on something similar to this. But for now I think it will do. Um, so in the next video I'm going to start putting on some lip sync on this section here. And probably get this up to quite a decent state before we continue on to the next part. So I hope you're enjoying this series and give it a like if you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.